Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create multiple choice. So multiple choice is real easy. A lot of people think it's overcomplicated, but I'm going to show you a real, real easy way of doing it. I have a little quick scene set up with just a text box with just some words, basically. And what we're going to do is we're going to have three options below, and we can click one and see where we go. So to create the options, I like to use buttons. So game object, UI, and go to button. I'm going to make the button match fairly well towards the text. So I'm going to change the text to about 20, change it to bold and just have it as white and also increase the size of the button itself. Not the text, the button. And I'm going to change the normal color to zero alpha. So it looks more like the, um, the actual option rather than a button. I'm going to have the highlighted color just a gray color. So I'm going to call the text on the button. Let's have the first option as say, I like choices. And then we can use that button if we F2 and name it option 01. We can then duplicate, bring it down and have that as option 2. And uh, let's change the text on that one to who are you? Obviously you would have your own options here. And then you probably guessed it now, a third option. If we just duplicate that one again, drag it down, change it to option three. And let's have this one just say, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. So already you should be able to see if we press play, we have there's the text and you can see highlighting the options. We just need to move around the text a little bit more. So it's just a case of perhaps adding a couple of spaces between or just moving the text inwards a little. Buttons can be a little bit fiddly sometimes, but if you get them just right, they work quite well. So we should be able to see the highlight works fairly well now. So there's our options set. So what we need to do now is create a script to allow us to pick one of the options. And then obviously, depending on what happens, which one we pick, we have a different effect afterwards. So let's create a C-sharp script. Let's call this choice script. And in Mono Develop or Visual Studio, doesn't matter. We'll use uh, five variables, I think. But firstly, we'll need to put using Unity engine dot UI and let's get rid of uh, void start and any notes because we don't need them. So let's have public game object. And the first one is going to be the text box itself. So that one's the one that's saying welcome stranger text box semicolon. And then we'll have uh, variables for each of the three possible choices. So public game object, let's have choice zero one semicolon. And I'm going to copy that line and paste it two more times and just quickly change it to two and three. And then finally, we'll do public int choice made. So when we pick a choice, this is where it be marked. So we're not going to use the void update for now. Uh, we will later on. But what we need to do is public void choice option one. Open close bracket, open curly bracket. And what we'll do is we'll do text box dot get component. Spiky brackets text open close bracket dot text. So now you would obviously have your own things here of what happens when you click your own choice. So I'm going to quickly make up something. Let's say that's good stranger looks like you made the first choice in quotes, semicolon. And what we'll do now is choice made um, equals one semicolon. So we made the first choice and we can copy and paste that public void choice option one and change it to choice option two. 
obviously make choice made equals two and let's change the text to say I'm still a stranger to looks like you chose the second option and then once again we can do it as choice option three choice made would be three and let's have this as good for you stranger looks like you made the last choice so that's that done and all we need to do in void update is do an if statement so if choice made is equal to sorry it'd be greater than or equal to one so basically if it's not zero then we just need to hide the possible options because we don't need them anymore choice zero one dot set active false semicolon and uh, we can copy that line paste it two more times change it to two and three and then close that if statement this one closes up the void update and this one closes the entire class so save and that really is all it comes down to when you have the multiple choice it's just a case of setting your variables up in the game so it's saying oh okay so it, it's just saying uh yeah we just need to put an equals there that's all it is save so we just need to say this text is now going to be equal to this text that's all it is so now we have a game object create empty and let's drag and drop onto there and we just need to set up these options there so text is the text box choice one is going to be option one option two and option three so now obviously we have everything in but there is a little thing we have to do extra we have to make the buttons actually represent the proper options so if we click on option zero one click on plus and we need to drag and drop our game object into there no function choice script and choose option one and the same applies with number two drag and drop game object choice script is now option two and then finally always make sure you click on that plus and it's as simple as that so now when we test it out we have our options so let's try option one and there we can see that option has come up that's good stranger looks like you made the first choice which we did and if we choose option two i'm still a stranger too looks like you chose the second option and then once again the third option produces something different so that's how you can quickly and easily make multiple choice in your game so if you have further multiple choice let's say option one produces another multiple choice you would just repeat the same process over again until you ha have the conversation end and that's how you create multiple choice in unity guys thank you very much for watching